do most of our conversing from this spot up here since there's the microphones. So um, we'd like to welcome you all to the Instructional Planning Center. So glad um, that if you haven't been here before that you found us. Um, and we welcome you with warm sunshine today. Um, and so glad to have all of our familiar faces and friends that we've made in our Gold Card Club over the years. So we welcome you here today. My name is Deanne Conrad. I'm the Community Relations Supervisor. And we have a couple of folks that are going to bring you up to speed on things that are going on in the district. And I know you're used to, um, you're familiar with Dr. Maher, our superintendent. Um, if you are not familiar, his son has a pretty important job with the Dallas Cowboys. He is the kicker for the Dallas Cowboys. And last night scored a franchise best in terms of length of a field goal kick, 62 yards. So that is, yeah, and that's the before that. That is the longest field goal in Dallas Cowboys history in that organization. So um, he regrets his absence today, but Dr. Maher was there to witness that last night and is on his way back to Sioux Falls um, we have a school board meeting this evening, so the show must go on. Uh, and, and so it was a great opportunity, of course, for him to see his son um, make that field goal. So um, we hope that, that uh, you can accept his apology for not being here, but we have two able-bodied folks who are going to be filling you in on some of the latest to the school district. So we will welcome Dr. Teresa Boyson and Dr. Jamie Knowles to come forward. Good morning, or almost good afternoon. And we have a nice fire for you, because it is kind of chilly out there. Um, the nice thing about these types of fires is it doesn't overheat the facility too much, right? But I'm Dr. Teresa Boyson, and I am, we, Jamie and I like to say we split the house down here. So I take curriculum assessment, and he gets everything else as a sign. <laughs> So um, that's how we split up the duties um, here at IPC. But some of the new things that are going on, and I know that you have heard of it in the news and seen it around, but the facilities discussions, the land has been purchased, and we're meeting with architects on the new high school. And right now we call it the Northwest High School. And hopefully by the end of January, we will have a new name we will have the name of the high school. We put the committee together, and um, the first meeting is January 15th, and so we will start that process of naming the high school and the middle school, and we'll do that at the same time. Dr. Nold and myself will lead that charge. The middle school facility, um, that land, um, we're putting that in front of the school board tonight. So there will be a location available tonight. If you watch the school board meeting at 5.30, you'll get to see where that is proposed to be. And so that progress is moving along. We have a steering committee and a design committee um, working with that high school. And we work with the architects. And every week, we're laying out new designs and seeing how that, that facility will fit on the property and what is out there and new for, for the students as they move into that building in the fall of 21. And so that's exciting. Something else in the high school front is a new graduation requirement. Come out from the Department of Ed that follows through on the Every Student Succeeds Act. And we have the base diploma, and then there's certain um, diplomas that build upon that. We have the honors diploma, the career and technical diploma, and then the advanced honors diploma. And that advanced honors lines up really nicely right now with our current graduation requirements and the opportunities scholarship that goes through the Board of Regents. Um, the career technical diploma really gives students the opportunity to explore our career tech academy and look at other options out there in the world of work. And the honors also opens up their schedule for more specials and so, or more extracurricular activities that way. So those are the new graduation requirements and we have a soft implementation and those will take place in 20 we're full implementation for those students. So that's some new things that we have. And then um, another, we have two Lincoln High students that were 
Fulbright scholarships, and one of them is Josephine Dahl at Lincoln, and she's going to Vanderbilt um, University with a Fulbright scholarship. So thanks for being here, and I'll turn it over to Dr. Noel um, for some updates from him. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. And, and it was fun watching that game yesterday. I've been a Cowboys fan for many years, so that's one of my faults. Uh, but that kick was just a yard off of, of the NFL record as well. So it was pretty amazing that way when it came in uh, and through. Um, part of my duties, as Dr. Boyce has said, we split many of those things down. And, and most of what I work with is the buildings and building principles uh, with different things that come up with regards to buildings and, and several programs. Uh, part of the reason why we built those new schools is our enrollment. And our enrollment reaching right under, when you count kindergarten all the way through our, our seniors, um, just under 25,000 students in the Sioux Falls School District now. In the last 20 years, our growth of about 11,000 students is larger, just our growth is larger than any district in the state of South Dakota, other than obviously the Sioux Falls School District. Um, so when we look at many of those buildings, and especially some of those buildings on uh, the west side of the town with Memorial and, and Roosevelt High School, Memorial Middle School, Roosevelt High School with that, you know, well over 2,000 students, uh, close to that 2,400 mark. It was built originally for 1,800 with the additions, uh, maybe 1,900. So there's just too many students in many of those locations. So we're building these new facilities so that we can help accommodate all of our students that are currently in the Sioux Falls School District, let alone the growth that will be coming. Um, with the Sioux Falls Schools uh, and the staff that teach those students, there's just over 3,300 teachers, or I'm sorry, 3,300 employees with the Sioux Falls School District, over 1,800 of those being teachers in the Sioux Falls School District. So we're the fourth largest employer in the city of Sioux Falls and obviously try to work very hard to have a highly qualified staff to teach the students and work with the students to keep the buildings clean, to serve the food, to work as EAs, uh, to drive um, many of the different buses that it may be. So we hire several employees throughout the school year and during the summer. Uh, some of the programs that have been working with is our teacher pathway program. Um, we often try to prepare our students in the high schools to do any job they would like to once they get done with high school. Part of that now that we've also spent some time focusing on is those who wish to go into the career of education. So we've started a brand new program this past year called the Teacher Pathway Program. And it gives juniors or seniors in high school a chance to work with a teacher throughout the whole school year and get college credit as an introductory to education credit in case they plan on going into the education field. And then they go one day a week down to the elementary and work with elementary students in the first grade uh, and second grade and just work with those students. And they've loved it. We've gone out and met with those students multiple times. And they, the biggest part of the greatest joy is on that Tuesday or Thursday when they go to the elementary and work with that elementary student in the classroom. Uh, but we've had a great opportunity. We were hoping to maybe get 50 or 60 students sign up for that class. We had 140 students sign up for that class to take that to potentially become teachers eventually down the road. Then we partnered with the University of South Dakota and they give those students credit for that class so that they, if they do go into the teaching field, they've already started out with at least one full credit at a greatly reduced price, just $40. I know $40 sounds like a lot, um, but considering it would be several hundred dollars when you're getting those same credits at the university, uh, so it really helps to partner those students and, and to keep our numbers um, at a strong level for individuals that apply for teaching positions within the Sioux Falls School District. So there's a lot of things that are going on. One of the positive things is obviously the growth in the Sioux Falls School District, uh, the growth in the city of Sioux Falls, and that vibrant economy we have. So that's some of the things that I work with and, and work with building principles on as we go through uh, that growth, how do we help accommodate, and then what programs can we bring about to be able to help provide employees as we move forward throughout. So thank you again for being here uh, with us. It is great to be able to share our buildings. I know when I was a principal over at Washington High School, I greatly enjoyed it when uh, the gold card events would come into the building. You could see the students, have the students perform for you when you're in the auditorium area, but just to be in the building, uh, because you guys are obviously a, a very big part of our community and to be able to have you see what happens in our schools is very important. 
So thank you, and thank you for being here, and thank you what, for what you do for the Sioux Falls School District and the city of Sioux Falls. exceptional information, but now we move to the best part, which is the food, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we really appreciate Dr. Boyce and Dr. Noll for joining us here today and, and sharing some updates. Do you have any questions um, that either one of them might be able to, to answer? Any questions that you, something you've heard about or read about? Yes. The new middle school, the committee had suggested that it be on the southeast side of Sioux Falls because we don't currently have a middle school in the southeast side. We have maybe more centrally located um, Whittier, Patrick, and Edison, if you want to say, between Cliff and oh, maybe Western, um, which are all quite centrally located. And then, of course, we have Memorial on the west side and McGovern on the northwest side. So the committee said in order to balance things out, uh, Southeast Sioux Falls or the Eastern side of Sioux Falls needs a middle school as well. So the land that is going to be suggested tonight falls in the Southeastern quadrant of the city of Sioux Falls. And uh, more announcements on that to come at the school board meeting. Also, I'll give you a, a little secret tip ahead. Oh, look at, <laughs> maybe I should have. Um, prior to coming in here, I prepared a survey that we will make available for the community to offer name suggestions for both the middle school and the high school. We really would like this to be an engaging, continue to be an engaging opportunity for our community to offer suggestions on names for um, our future schools. So we will be launching that survey and you heard it here first, whether or not I was supposed to tell you, I'm telling you anyway. Um, and you'll have an opportunity, the community will have an opportunity to weigh in on what they believe um, the name should be for consideration. And of course the committee will then uh, vet those names and narrow it down. Um, but certainly we welcome any input from, from our community stakeholders as well. Yes, Mr. Erickson. When will the fun job of uh, starting to talk about? Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> Redrawing the boundaries for our schools. That is a necessary uh, piece of this puzzle. Whether or not the school bond passed in September or not, um, we were going to need to do some, some reorganization in terms of where students are going to be assigned to attend school. Um, certainly, since we have over 2,000 students, about 2,300 students at Roosevelt, that's not an optimal learning situation. So how do we take some of those students and, and shift them around to get some of them to go to Northwest Middle, or I'm sorry, the new Northwest High School? So that is a very emotional um, conversation to have with families because, you know, you may have purchased your home thinking my child was going to be a patriot or a warrior or a rough rider and and we understand that it, it is an emotional situation um, it's also in everyone's best interest to have um, schools that where students aren't crowded in the hallways and in the in the classrooms and that is why you know we knew we needed to, to build additional schools so Doug I'm I'm trying to avoid your question. <laughs> no, well, I haven't really said much. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's, um, it will be conversation probably, um, you know, we're hoping to open the, the middle and high schools by 2021. Um, next look at the calendar, we're at 2019. And so we know that families will need some time to process that information, to understand that information. So um, it, it almost, if you back up on the timeline of that, it almost has to be done because of open enrollment applications uh, by December of 2020. And so as you back up off of that, it'll probably take a year's worth of conversation. 
conversation, you know, just from the beginning stages to the end. So the likelihood of that being the discussion next year uh, with the committee that would help to organize and put that data together and that information would probably be a pretty part of that. Um, but the key <laughs> date would be that December of 2020 so that people know for enrollment purposes and for school funding purposes, all that, and the applications for that 2021 so then, the next year, we'll, there'll be some legwork done on, on redrawing boundaries, and then we'll have considerable um, opportunity for, for people to provide input and say, well, what about this option? Um, something Dr. Maher had said all along is, we don't have every answer. And so um, we do appreciate when our community is engaged in the conversation and, and provides us with suggestions and feedback and that type of thing because it really is public schools are supposed to be about the public and so we we believe in that strongly and we'll continue to have those conversations and allow people to to weigh in because we do know it is a very emotional issue so um, that'll be a headline for sure now you know every question you ask is a couple minutes later that you're going to get your lunch <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I'll answer anything else that you have along the way, or you can grab us as we're walking around the room or what have you. But um, we do uh, value the relationship that we have with each of you and the fact that you're interested in what's going on in our schools. And so thank you for the time that you take to learn about the schools and to share our message with others that you're talking about as well. It's, it's critically important that we continue um, a partnership and a relationship with, with all um, areas of our community, all stakeholders. And so we really appreciate you being here. You're gonna hear some great music coming up a little later, um, but now great food. So um, our staff is going to serve as your waitresses today. So uh, Melody Kloiber is our adult uh, specialist for uh, community education. In the center is Maritza Carzales. She is our clerical in our department. And then Kelly Fay on the end is our youth specialist for community education. Behind the camera um, is the newest addition to our department. Typically, you've probably seen Ben Schumacher behind the camera before. He still remains with us. Um, he's doing lots of video duties out in our schools. But Carly Youthy joined us in July and has been a great asset to our community community relations department so um, they're gonna do some um, some waitressing here this morning and I don't let them take any tips from you or anything, okay <laughs> all right so uh, thank you all again for, for being here and let's enjoy some good food
without musical accompaniment. It's uh, fantastic uh, to hear all of those students, and I think you could probably tell the first group was a, maybe a little younger student, if you will, just based on the faces. We probably had a mix of all grades in this last one, but both of those are, you earn the right to be in there through tryout. And so um, the fact that uh, the students are actively involved in their, their uh, math, science, English, all of those things, and then choose to participate at that level as well is, is certainly an accomplishment. Um, a couple of the songs were arran arranged by Pentatonix, which is currently a very popular um, a cappella group. And if you are looking for some great holiday music, Pentatonix has a bunch of holiday music, but um, all arranged in that a cappella manner and just very upbeat and uplifting. And so I think it's a popular one for a lot of people this time of year. And we are grateful to welcome our next group that's here from New Technology High School and their instru instructor, Pam Green. <laughs> Thank you. 
enjoy um, our selections today. We're starting out with Kum, Kum, Kum. And I'm not sure how the piano's going to sound in here, so if we have to adjust after the first song, bear with us. But
And so, of course, he he was in ICU until last week Friday, and he was dismissed. Um, but if, you know, again, it's like every time this group steps up and they're like, "Okay, we can do this," because you just have to figure out how are you going to do it to make it work again. Um, but we did, and we sure missed Jaden. We know he'll be back, but he won't be here all week for everything we're doing this week. And so we're just thankful he is okay and he is out of the hospital, but it will be a long recovery for him. But um, in a group this tight, when we come together, and I always talk about we're a family, and so everything that we do together, no matter what, we don't have drama in this group. Do we? we don't. When we come in, I'm like, uh-uh, we do not do that. We are here for each other. And so they have been there for Jaden, um, but we sure do miss him because you, you always kind of have that. He was kind of our jokester. Yeah, kind of our, that kind of a guy. And, and so, you know, we have missed him a lot, but um, I just want you to know how proud I am of them for stepping into some of the roles that they have had to do because Jaden is gone too and just trying to balance the parts out again. So um, our next election is Carol of the Bowels. I hope you all know that one. That's really fun. Um, they love to sing this song. So I will put your hands. <laughs>
a little bit differently than you're used to at time of quick. You're sure welcome to sing along. This is our final song, and we just thank you for letting us come in here to you today. It's great to see you. Everybody carries the load. And unfortunately, since Jaden wasn't able to be here, they had to carry an extra load. <laughs> so um, congratulations to those students for having great success in, in music as well. So, um, and thanks to their instructor for being here as well. Okay, and now some door prizes. You want me to why don't you take mine? Yeah, so, okay. Um, I wanted to, we're going to hand these out too. I'll have the girls bring some around. Um, Carly, our new uh, staff person in our department, uh, put together kind of a newsletter for you. Um, we do have a um, community education gift certificate. Um, you know, you guys come to these events, but uh, we also do the community education catalog that's got 350 or more classes in it, and they are for everybody. So um, ages two to 102. <laughs> so um, we do have a gift gift certificate <coughs> special going on right now for Christmas. If you buy a gift card for somebody else, then you'll get credit in your account too. So we've got amazing classes. Um, 
Um, Carly's also going to, um, I don't know how many of you go on the website, the Sioux Falls School District website, but there is a landing page for Gold Card. So if you have any friends, any relatives that you think might be interested in signing up, tell them to give us a call or go online there. They can stop in at Burke's desk and fill out, we just need name, address, phone number, and we'll get them their Gold Card. Don't forget to use those at events. Um, throughout the district and then of course we do our holiday this event and we do two more during the year So we'll plan another one in the spring. So watch for that event. Um, we don't know what we're doing yet, but um, Anyway, she's going to keep that gold card landing page updated with classes that might interest you um, Any other specials that are going on? Um, and then our new catalog uh, Kelly and I and Marissa and everybody else I guess is working on the new catalog right now um, and that will be out uh, early February, so watch for that in your inbox. So, yeah, and then we'll do some more practice here. So, what's this for? Uh, we'll do a coffee mug. 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 Got Roger Ellingson. Oh. We met Roger this morning. I'll tell you real quick. We met Roger this morning. Kelly and I and Marissa went to um, coffee at the Rolling Pin with Roger's. Um, Lions Club group, and so we just kind of presented and told them what we did, and that was very delightful. You guys were a fun group. <laughs> Levon Whitrock. <laughs> Elaine Dunkelberger. Certificate for community yet. So to use that, just give us a call either for our next event or um, if you see a class you want to take. Okay. Linda Weber. <coughs> Lois Peterson. Our table's getting three. <laughs> Kathy Folder. Mary, is it Bebe? Did you say the E? Yeah. I thought so, but then I wasn't sure after I started saying it. Oh, maybe have a couple more. Okay, Donna Bothell. <laughs> and Diane Martin. we've ever had before is 60 and we had I think 70 well 65 signed up and, and then us staff so thank you so much and happy holidays and enjoy this sunny day happy thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.